Hello and welcome to Basic Computer Help. Uh, this video I'm going to give you an update on my Stream Deck and pretty much my plans to move forward. Um, it kind of got delayed by a lot as I had massive flooding in my basement. A link to my vlog is in the description and I talk about it, I show a little bit of the damage from that. Um, but anyway. Some updates on how I'm going to build the Stream Deck, what I thought of, and some suggestions people have sent me. I said I got the 32U4 uh, for the Stream Deck, and I've had a couple people suggest that I should use the Pico, um, as it's more capable to use, even with just CircuitPython, for Stream Deck-like things. And I would tend to agree, except for... It is getting easier to get, but they're still harder uh, to acquire than other microcontrollers. So I'm not going to use this to start. I might move over to it um, on that. Now, I want to do this as cheaply as possible, which, yes, this would be the best option as this is only four bucks. I need to get a some more buttons, but I plan on using some buttons like these in the design. Why am not why am I not using like cherry MX switches? Um, that'll be for a future project, but this one I want to get more as cheap as possible for people who are more strapped for cash. Um, as I can buy a 12 pack of these for the exact same price as a cherry MX switch. So but I'm gonna start out with these and technically they are mechanical switches but they're just on the cheap end. Uh, we'll get on, more on that in a future video. And a lot of these tutorials that I have seen that have talked about um, building your own stream deck or, or macro deck is actually what they are, um, tend to build their own printed circuit boards and send that out and have a lab send that in. I'm not going to do that because that, that would still cost some money. I'm going to use a protoboard. Um, now this is a Bakelite protoboard. It's meant to be cut. I uh, either will use this or something more similar to this. This is a perma protoboard. This is designed like a breadboard. It's even got the connections uh, as if it was a breadboard. So I can run it more like that. Yes, it'll mean that I have to solder in just basic wire as well. It could look messy, but I do intend to make it look fairly nice. Um, of course, I have some wire as well as other options. Let's throw all that in there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here real quick. I know it has been uh, almost a month since my last YouTube video and just tell you what has kept up, what has kept me from uploading any more videos. It has been a bit of a, a, a stressful couple of weeks for me. My basement is still flooding, but that is slowly coming under control as the storm waters are starting to recede. Um, so yeah, until next time, I might be on a once a month kind of video for both of my vlogging and basic computer help channels. Uh, otherwise, I, I hope you guys have a good day. See ya.